what's going on, Turner Fishing Gang? So, little birdie told me they're biting at blacks. So we on the way. See how many slabs we can put in the boat today. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that sub button. It's 70% of y'all not subscribed. Come on, man. It's free. Just like this video is free. Just hit the subscribe button down there, and it'll mean a lot to me. Help the channel grow and get more videos like this. But I'll catch y'all when I find some fish. There we go. Number five. Nice little 10 incher. Straight up choke that jig, too. <laughs> Well, that's five fish. So I thought my camera was working, but undoubtedly it wasn't. Show you what I'm working with. Get this guy on the stringer. So I'm using today. So chartreuse jig. I dyed the tail to a brighter chartreuse. Six pound, Mr. Crappy line. I got it on an eight foot fly rod. What a what a Cardinal 400 UI. I'm fishing about eight foot. Well, about ten foot of line off my pole, but about eight foot down. Just working all these bridge pillars over here at Black's. Doing pretty good so far. I got five. And they're all decent sized fish. One thing I'm noticing about these pillars, I mean, there isn't a high concentration of fish. I mean, there's a pretty good many on each pillar, but they don't really want to bite right now. It's probably going to change when it warms up a little bit, but I haven't caught any small ones. Everyone's been pretty good quality, but it mostly all comes down to electronics. Like right now I see that there's two or three fish three foot down, so I can adjust my pole to around three foot and try to catch those as I go over them. That's one nice thing about a kayak is, I mean, the fish are directly below you whenever you see them on the graph so with this jig pole it's not really hard to go over them but it's just a slow and thorough back and forth it's got pretty good current I'd like to use a smaller jig head but it's just not happening right now that's about the smallest one I've caught should keep though Number six. If he keeps, let's see. Oh, yeah, he's about eight and a half inches. Nice little crappy. see where I got my line it's about two foot under my reel so my rod's eight foot and then you give or take four feet I'm lifting it out of the water that would be six foot it's kind of how you got to judge it and then you figure out where they're at on your depth finder and I just had a bite there you just go from there. I'm having a hot pillars because, like I said, there's not a lot of fish on each pillar, but it's good quality fish. Oh, we lost him. That was a good fish. And just with the pole, I mean, you're in the same depth every time. As soon as you find a fish, it ain't no guessing game. You know where your bait is. 
get in there and get a bite. Number seven. Nice little keeper crappy. Nothing wrong with that. Make a good sandwich. Number eight. Switch pillars real quick and got bit. Should be able to get my limit before I get back to the first one. There's two people down there fishing them though, so. But you never know. They could leave. <laughs> so one guy's been on the first pillar for a long time. They must be over there, I don't know. All right, number 10. Ooh, that's a good one. Big Bertha. Oh. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one right there, guys. Freaking ch choked it. Number 11. He's a little one. I don't think this one's gonna keep. We'll see though, because I hooked him. It's a cool one. Oh yeah. I had one break off my other jig head, but luckily this one's working too. I get some bigger jig heads for when the current's rolling like it is, which has done died down a little bit. It probably put water this morning. But that will be number 13. Not too many more to go. Well, that's lucky. I lost my stringer. Go for a battery dive. Get it over to good, man. And we got about 18, so doing good. Head to the house. They don't quit biting my uh, battery on my depth finder died. I forgot to charge it last night. <laughs> but anyway, guys, remember to subscribe, share the video, like the video, and I'll catch you next time. If you haven't already, consider becoming a Patreon. And remember, guys, for just $5, and if you DM me on Instagram, you get a shout-out in the next video. Yee!